This piece is mainly inspired by the Byzantine period, but also by more recent artists who I believe still carried the spirit of that age. The Byzantine period covers a wide range from the medieval illuminations of the 5th century to the Gothic sculpture of the 12th century. The art of this period is abstract. For example, the unnaturally rigid lines in drapery and the almost bodiless quality of the figures. This art is concerned with the platonic, objective, and transcendent world. The emphasis is on the dominance of grace over nature. Here we have an effigy rather than a portrait. It is not bound to a time or place, and yet depicts several episodes of the saint's life. But centuries after the Byzantine period, there are efforts to assert again the supremacy of grace not by downplaying nature, but showing nature elevated by grace. Francisco Zerberen reduces the figure of St. Francis to simple three-dimensional geometric solids. The saint's downcast gaze and shadowed face remove him from the viewer's realm. Zerberen was a master of the single monumental figure. In his native Greece, El Greco created Byzantine icons. After moving to Italy and then Spain, he infused his style with mannerism and the artistic environment of that time and place. The result is a unique expressionist style that does not belong to any conventional school. El Greco contributed in a major way to the iconography of the Counter-Reformation. The skull, for example, is often used to depict meditation on earthly death while a branch of ivy emerging from rocks is a symbol of immortality.